As I record this video, I come to you from the traditional unceded territories of the Qualicum and Comox First Nations, and I thank them for the use of their lands. This video will be a quick look at the interface that we're proposing for the JWiki. In fact, we're hoping to move this over to the JWiki uh, in the next month, um, so we would like your feedback on it. Uh, now let's take a look at it so uh, you get a sense of what we're talking about. And so here we are at the uh, front page of the prototype JWiki. Uh, if you haven't visited it before, I encourage you to do it. Um, I will put a link in the uh, description below this video so it's easy to get on. Uh, it's essentially the same uh, link as the current wiki, except that instead of code.jsoftware.com, it's code2, the number numeral 2, dot jsoftware.com. But you can see that in the description. So what we're looking at here is some changes we've made. And I guess in a general sense, um, this is a front end to the wiki. And what I'm looking at doing here is creating a front end that's a little bit easier to navigate and a little bit easier to remember where you're going and where to look for things compared to the previous wiki. Now, the previous wiki, if I go back down and... Uh, look in the archive pages, this was the main page for the previous wiki. Uh, this nav bar and this search bar up here weren't part of it, but this is how all the information in the wiki broke down. And it's a lot of information and not really many categories to look at. So um, it's a little hard to find things. And this is the front end that we're looking at doing is a response to that. So a couple things we've done is on every page we'll have this extended code search and the code search for j is a search that allows you to search for actual j primitives uh, which the standard wiki search doesn't allow for so this general wiki search up here the search of the j wiki is not the same as the j code search which is more specific to j also on every page we'll have a link to nuvox so wherever you are you can click on this it'll take you back to Nuvok. And the page map. And what the page map does is essentially of this whole front end, it'll give you a reference of all the pages you can go to and link back and forth with. You can also do it using these nav bars. On the top level navigation bar, we've got newcomers, reference, J community, and playground. You can imagine newcomers has information for newcomers, including installing J, learning J, which of course has a lot of different information very useful to newcomers similarly if we go back up to reference we have some things that are more useful to people who may be more experienced and maybe looking for reference materials nuvoc you can see is here as well which makes sense for reference also j add-ons we've expanded add-ons a bit so that if you're a developer in the past there was this all this information spread through the wiki uh and I guess recently the developer's checklist kind of got lost, which this has very useful information if you're trying to develop an add-on. So it's this kind of uh, additional work that we've been doing to make the wiki a little bit more useful, I suppose. All the old information will be there still. It'll be searchable and it'll be sort of contained in the archives area if you wanted to go through the old way of doing it. But in this new way, we're going to try and update the information so it's a bit more current, a bit more relevant, and maybe a little easier to navigate. Having said that, I encourage you to use the link in the description. Take a look at this, see what you think. And if you wish to uh, leave a comment, that would be great, leaving a comment for the video. The other way you can do it is each page has a discussion. So on, if you can log into the, you have to log in to do this, but once you're logged in, you click discussion, and then because you're logged in, you can edit. Other people can, of course, look at the edit. I will put a break. And that gives me a little bit more control. And I can type in something like I more thoughts. And this, this sort of user trick, if I hit four tildes here, hit return. And this is a minor edit, save changes. And just by hitting the four tildes, it includes my name, a link back to me, and also the time and date that I did this. So 
useful way to be able to track conversations and discussions are by far the preferred way to put comments on pages uh, because that gives us a chance to really look at the page uh, really focus in on the the area that we want to we want to look at so please take a look at the wikis uh, play around with this see what you think of this kind of a front end we're really looking at putting this into play on the main wiki, I would say in the next month, and then probably over the next year, expanding the content. So you may not be relying as much on the old wiki pages as they're updated and moved into this new front end, which hopefully will make it easier to move around the wiki. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to uh, hearing your comments.